this evening's program, once again, it's a championship match. It's to be wrestled for the official Rumble Wrestling All Nations Championship and belt that goes with that title. Presenting and introducing to you, coming from the blue corner, just like that kid over there, nobody cares what your name is. Horrible, isn't he? He's horrible. What do you think of Tate Mayfair? Right? He's a loser. No, me, me, me. Let's hear you. Tate Mayfair is a loser. 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 Don't no, worry, he's a loser. Oh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the All Nations Wrestling Championship, a belt that goes with that title. It's scheduled for a 30 minute time limit with one fall to decide the championship and the contest. Presenting and introducing to you, coming from the blue corner, one of the lead contenders, and tonight the official challenger, Rhys Alexis! The defending champion from Soho, London, Tate Mayfairs! Welcome back to Rumble Wrestling TV and what a whopper we have for you here. Talk about two studs, a championship matchup. The Rumble Wrestling All Nations Championship is on the line as the reigning and defending ever-present champion Tate Mayfairs faces the number one contender returning from a magnificent tour of Australia. And by the way, heading out to Japan very soon is Reese Alexios. A lot of people might recognize him, formerly as Kylo Reese, now going by the name Reese Alexios, the Hellenistic hero, goes one on one here with Tate Mayfairs. And Tate Mayfairs certainly has faced a number of incredible opponents in his career, but none quite like Reese Alexios. The perfect combination of power and athleticism. By the way, a professional parkour athlete as well so expect some incredibly adept high flying man could find room in a phone box frankly with Reese Alexios but he's like really takedown there from Tate Mayfairs picks him up and over him certainly the experience and especially the big game experience advantage goes to Tate Mayfairs referee Matt Wilson head official of Rumble Wrestling in charge at this one full to a finish contest wrist lock control by Reese Alexios Flying his trade now at the All-Star Wrestling South Academy. I know a little something about that, ladies and gentlemen. One of the all-time great training facilities under former WWE NXT legend Joel Redman. And now look at that, Tate Mayfairs. Well, it's great athleticism, no doubt, but it's of course all off and second starting. Reese Alexia certainly does not take kindly to Tate Mayfairs and his arrogance. He's going to get shoved on his piece there for his troubles. Tate Mayfairs, I'll tell you what, backing up from Reese Alexios. Reese Alexios, he's not going to allow someone like Tate Mayfairs to bully him. And he certainly can't afford to allow that. A lot of people lose the game before they even get in the ring with Tate Mayfairs because of that mentality mindset. Truly an icon and a mental acumen like no other when it comes to professional wrestling. There is no denying the high IQ of Tate Mayfairs. The only thing higher than his IQ, of course, is his self-esteem, ladies and gentlemen. And lovely headlock applied. 
to Reese Alexios, who looks to power out, sends him off the ropes, looks to try and trip him up, and a beautiful cartwheel escape lands on his feet, and more hot dogging from the All Nations champion to get single leg takedown there by Reese Alexios with ease. And meanwhile, I'll tell you Mayfair's again, I'll tell you what, Reese Alexios before, with a little bit of hot dogging of his own there, and now. Tay Mayfairs looking to take full advantage of a grounded Reese Alexios back with his feet. Lovely leapfrog over the top. Lovely drop kick. And that's what I meant. The athleticism comes with such ease to Reese Alexios. Tay Mayfairs top of the ropes. Irish whip. Oh, I think he was looking for a straight. Almost like a shotgun drop kick there. Lovely marginal trade or out of standing position by Tay Mayfairs. Gets a two count on Reese Alexios. He's able to counter right back to that wrist lock control. Reese Alexios is able to just reset this wrestling match like it's nothing. A lot of people already would be scrambling against the likes of Tate Mayfair, who, by the way, it has to be said, whether you like him or not, he's by far and away one of the finest ever wrestlers to have been produced by Great Britain. Of course, as he says several times, he's not lying. As the knuckle lock control is applied by Reese Alexios, and I think he's not going to stretch some of those fingers at Tate Mayfair, who doesn't appreciate that. Rolls back, looking to alleviate the pressure. Now grabs the hair. Matt Wilson's got to be careful with that beautiful kip up escape cartwheel as well to reapply control. Kip up again. And now, and just like that, a beautiful one legged drop kick snapped off by Reese Alexios. I was going to say, if you go to Google and type in the greatest professional wrestler ever walked planet out of Take Me Fist, is indeed, as he says, the man of his word, the first hit that you will get on the Google search engine. And I highly recommend you try it for yourself. But I tell you what, if you were able to put in a list of the most exciting young talents in the world today in professional wrestling, Reese Alexios would certainly be up in that list, and rightfully so. And Tell you what, that's going to do nothing for his self-esteem. Being chopped and punched at the hands of Tate Mayfair. An incredibly skilled striker. Educated fists, educated feet. People look at Tate Mayfair's his penthouse suite in Soho. His lifestyle of London living. Living that fashionable, luxurious lifestyle that he does. And oh, look out, Reese Alexa, able to counter. Once again, Tate Mayfair spent a little bit too much time showing off and a hip toss, deep hip toss, sends him up and down just as he does again with that scoop slam. Reese Alexios, meanwhile, right back in control of this All Nations Championship match. But by the way, this is for the championship as we mentioned, back body drop to Tate Mayfair's. And dare I say, Tate Mayfair's might have taken Reese Alexios just a little bit too lightly coming into this championship matchup. But I tell you what, Reese Alexios spent a lot of time in the middle showing off of what he's going to do, and he got caught right there. Oh, my God, that's a nasty collision. Take Mayfair, sidestepped him, sent him clean into the ropes, and you saw his neck snap off those ropes. And I've seen a number of incidences in wrestling where that could have seriously caused a concussion, a break, any kind of damage and the kick is certainly not going to help Matt. Deep cover, deep, deep cover by Tate Mayfair. Two count, Reese Alexios able to escape. The All Nations Championship match here at Rumble Wrestling Edition continues and now Tate Mayfair zoning in on that ankle and now just cranking at the neck. Look at the control and look at the mean streak of Tate Mayfair. So stylish, so cool. The way he presents himself. The five-figure suits that he wears from the finest tailors. Beautiful, flush DDT. All of that is counted, of course. Pinfall attempt. Just a two count again. And all of that style and substance that I speak about is, of course, countered by this vicious, vicious streak of evil. And that's exactly why he has been All Nations champion for the best part of two years, albeit with a couple of blips in there. Now Putin breaks on it again, sends Reese Alexios face first into the turnbuckle. And this is something that a lot of people just don't have in professional wrestling. They have all the skills. Come on, two count only again. They have all the power. They have all the skills. They have all the looks. But they cannot bring that level of intensity and that meanness. Sometimes you have to do what you got to do. And that's what Tate Mayfair has been able to do so well. As he just stamps the life out of Reese Alexios. Now just... But stood on the hand, making it easy. Oh, good God, and white could have broken the man's fingers, maybe broken one of his knuckles. 
But this is Tate Mayfair in a nutshell. A world-class athlete, a world-class professional wrestler. A man of sheer, sheer ferocity. A financial superiority. But a mean streak that would match Blofeld, frankly. And Meanwhile, Tate Mayfair is flexing for the cameras here at ringside, of course, and media providing all of the coverage here at Rumble Wrestling as they have done for many a year now. And a stiff, short, short forearm there and a European upcut as well. Tate Mayfair's is just in cruise control. Oh, I'll tell you what, took a little bit too long there. Reese Alexios able to get out of Dodge. Now, can he build some momentum here? Right hand, knife bench trot. Reese Alexios realizes he's in the fight of his life here. For the All Nations Championship, but he is still very much in this game. Goes up and over the top and lands on his feet. Beautiful athleticism, as we mentioned before, that parkour coming into play from Reese Alexios. And now looking to build some momentum. But I'll tell you what, less time pandering to the audience, more time focusing on what's in front of you. And once again, he gets caught flush. I think he was looking to slingshot himself in, potentially with a springboard. Tate Mayfair's cut him off at the pass. Reese Alexios showing his lack of experience in big game format here got caught short playing to the crowd just a little bit too much and don't get me wrong we love the audience here at rumble wrestling you can get your tickets for a plethora of rumble wrestling shows at rumblewrestling.com but when it comes down to business you've got to pay attention to a man with the dangerous assassin like mentality of tateness his greatness himself tate mayfair Maurice Alexios. Look, I'll tell you what, he's at nine. Oh my god, I thought he's going to get counted out. Champions advantage there, of course, by Tate Mayfair, who will no doubt happily take a count out win and take a, an easy night off after just 10 minutes of wrestling here against Reese. Look at that, just standing on the head and berating Reese Alexios. And he turned his back, and that is not smart. You never turn your back on your opponent. Roll up, two count only, says referee Matt Wilson. And European uppercut certainly re establishes the equilibrium of this affair. And now Tate Mayfair's with a run up. Oh my god, a vicious European uppercut with extra oomph on the shoulder. Oh my god, an exploder suplex. He damned it, dropped him on his head. And I don't think Tate Mayfair cares one bit. Reese Alexios still able to escape. He is still in this All Nations Championship matchup. Right hand to the dome. Ten minutes have gone. Right there, there's the call. For the ever present key. Thank you very much to the big man himself. And now, look at this, just wrenching at the head and neck is Tate Mayfair. Look at him, just berating. Reese Alexios, now a fish hook in the mouth. He's to be very careful though. Referee Matt Wilson going to exercise that five count. Referee Matt Wilson, of course, has seen many, 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 many an attempt from Tate Mayfair to break the rules. And not Reese Alexios being manipulated. No, no, no. Well, that little piggy certainly yeah. didn't stay home and yeah. now just yeah. wrenching away and traps the arm, chin lock applied. Tate Mayfair's berating, berating Reese Alexios. And it has to be said in full control. Look at the eyes of Tate Mayfair's. There is bloodlust there. There is a need to destroy and dismantle. He doesn't just want to beat Reese Alexios. He wants to severely hurt this man. If he can injure him, if he can put him on the shelf, that is a statement made and a statement worthy of Tate's his greatness. Tate Mayfair's just roaring at our audience here in Ditton who are desperate to see Reese Alexios get back into the fight. Reese Alexios has been spending the best part of the year traveling Australia. He is back from Australia. Australia. He's off to Japan soon and he'd love to go to Japan representing Rumble as their All Nations champion. That's exactly what that All Nations Championship represents, being one of the very best in the world of international professional wrestling. And Tate Mayfair's once again just stamping on the hopes and dreams of Reese Alexius. Tate Mayfair's building up ahead of steam. And now, oh wow, look at that athleticism, a matrix like athleticism to escape. Tate Mayfair's blocks the bulldog approach, or maybe it was a cutter, and now, oh, beautiful, forward flip over the top, escapes, kick to the midsection, and see what, Reese Alexios has found himself, somehow, another gear, and is able to 619 
didn't get all of it, if we're being honest, but enough contact to send Tate Mayfair back to the center ring. Look out. Springboard. Beautiful double stomp. Holy cow, the athleticism again from Reese and Selexios. Beggars, belief, pinning combination. Are we going to have a new All Nations champion? Oh, my God. I tell you what. Two and three quarters right there before Tate Mayfair is able to escape and get his shoulder off the canvas. But meanwhile, Reese Alexios so close to becoming the brand new All Nations champion. But Tate Mayfair survives, lives to survive another fall at least. I'll tell you what, Reese Alexios says we are done here. It is time to finish the story. And now look out. Oh, I tell you, I think he was looking for a blue thunder bomb. And Tate Mayfair's just raking the eyes. Blatant, blatant bending of the rules. Matt Wilson, however, because of the angle, was not able to see it. Now there's the boxing pedigree of Tate Mayfair's teeing off. Oh, beautiful, just clubs Reese Alexios with that step up. And oh man, I think. I tell you what, Reese Alexios needs to be very careful. He's in prime position potentially. 15 minutes. 15 minutes gone in this All Nations Championship matchup. Tate Mayfair's. We are going deep here, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing quite like. The extra long effort of professional wrestling here at Rumble Wrestling. And our oh, Tate Mayfair's with build up a head of stay blue thunder from Reese Alexios catches it. Oh my god. I thought that was real. I thought that was gonna be it. I thought we had a new All Nations champion, but Tate Mayfair, still his credit, able to escape that stunning blue thunder bomb by Reese Alexios, who now has decided. This is the end game. He is ascending to the top rope. Tate Mayfair is prone in the middle of the ring. And oh, look how he's playing possum. Reese Alexios was taking his time once again. And that seems to be the story of this matchup. An incredible effort by Reese, but he's taken a lot of time to get to the top rope. A little too long when he's showing off to the audience. And once again, he's been caught flush. That is a precarious position of being hung up on the top rope, sat up there like that with Tate Mayfair on the prowl. But Reese Alexios looking to create some separation, a stiff strike to the face, and well, both men just traded blows up there. You can see a very precarious position. The ropes bend, but they do not break under the pressure of two of the finest young professional wrestlers in the land. And come on, well, Tate Mayfair's with thumbs to the eye, looking to take Fala Fala to a superplex. Credit to him, the power is impressive. Both men, however, I tell you what, nasty collision for both. But Tate Mayfair's, oh, look out, it could be Tate Trigger time. Tate Trigger, oh my god, that vicious rising knee lift right to the side of the head. And I think Reese Alexios is out. I think we're going to have a retainment here. And Reese Alexios, out of absolutely nowhere, probably on fumes, just out of pure adrenal awareness, he's able to kick out of the Tate Trigger. Oh, look out, I think Tate has had enough of this. He's going to be looking for that inverted, beautiful. Inverted fisherman suplex that he likes to use. Oh, meanwhile, counter, small package, the roll up, and a two count only for Reese Alexios. And a cutter, just like that, out of absolutely nowhere. We could have a new All Nations champion. We can, oh my god, and Tate Mayfair somehow at two and seven apes is able to escape. Reese Alexios, no wasted motion. Now he's not wasting time, goes up, springboard. Nobody home, no, oh man, bad. I think his knee buckled. And the chop block certainly will not have helped that. And now looking for a figure four submission of sorts. Oh, look at that. It looks like a variation here from Tate Mayfair. He has got a weird, weird variation on it there. That is nasty. Oh, my God. Look at the oh, Yeah, Reese Alexios, just like that, he's forced to tap at the hands of the All Nations champion. It's a submission victory. Break the hold, Tate. Break the hold. Man, Reese Alexios is forced to submit at the hands of Tate Mayfair. Now, ladies the winner of the contest and still All Nations champion, Tate Mayfair. Well, you can call it an instant classic, you can say what you want about the effort of Reese Alexios and the nefarious nature, but it's Tate Mayfair who escapes once again by a submission as your All Nations champion.